Hi there, it's Wanda Wen. Thank you so much for joining me on The Sulip Fix. Today, I am going to present to you just the concept of finding the beauty and celebrating the beauty in imperfection, right? There's a Japanese term um, for it called wabi-sabi, and it is really celebrating the impermanence of things or celebrating transience and celebrating the beauty of uh, what is imperfect. So. I, I have one of my very, very, very favorite sweaters here. I've had this, gosh, I think for 15 years, made by one of my dear designer friends. And it's, it's my favorite sweater. It's got the perfect shape. We all have some of those clothing, right? We definitely have some of those pieces. But I just noticed that there's a hole and a little moth was starting to have some dessert on my sweater. And I was thinking, oh gosh, I'm not going to throw this away. Where is a hole? Okay, I know. It's not very big, but it's right here. And the thing is, is that once you have a hole and you start wearing things, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So I am going to just take this gold thread and we're going to make it a happy a happy mark instead of something that looks like something is tattered and torn but I'm going to celebrate this and make it a happy thing so that when I look at my arm or because this is on my wrist I'm going to think pleasant happy thoughts all right so basically going to stitch around this whole using a decorative thread and you can use decorative yarns and i'm just going to come around and do a simple blanket stitch where i'm um, coming in from the whole side and coming through and coming under and just doing that over and over again very very simple stitch and i'm using multiple strands of an embroidery thread because I want this to be visible to myself and to others. And I love the idea that we are recycling something. We are celebrating the imperfections of this item. And really, it really goes to life, right? Um, Wait, now, let's see, what just happened? <laughs> um, I'm getting a little bit, let's see. I think that this, forget it, I'm gonna do this over. Jeez, what happened? Okay. No, no, just keep going. Okay, my threads are just getting a little bit tangled. And of course, it's going to flub up when I'm filming this, but you know what, that's life, right? And it's okay if we flub up, that's actually where we develop our color, right? And develop the nuances of our personalities. And gosh, if we didn't have challenges in our life, we wouldn't be learning, we wouldn't be growing, we wouldn't be more wise. So, this celebrating this imperfection in my most favorite sweater is actually a lesson in life to celebrate our imperfections and celebrate the hard times that we've had in our life because always i've definitely lived more than half a century i've definitely have gone through my own set of challenges and wouldn't trade them for the world, right? It's who I've become. It's what made me who I am today, whatever challenges that I've had in my life. And I know that we all have, everyone, everyone has had challenges for sure. That's the reason why we live, right? To learn, to learn through our mistakes. Okay, so see what's happening is I'm just creating a just a 
pattern in a path of this beautiful embroidery thread in gold. I love how the gold picks up itself and its luminescence against this black sweater. So again, just stitching over and over again, coming in from the inside of the center of this hole and coming out by about a half an inch on the underside so that it creates a nice pattern. There we go. I'm gonna do one more. And I'm just spacing them about an eighth of an inch apart. So you can see how, what I've created. There's this little circle of thread. And then I'm going to bring this into the inside. I'm gonna turn my sweater around so I could see what's going on on the inside. And I'm going to tie a knot to secure my threads. Actually, tying a square knot. Using these multiple threads can be a little bit cumbersome. Sometimes I do this uh, technique using thicker threads, which may be probably for camera I should have done that, but I'm sorry, this is what I just had available. This is what I was feeling inspired to do. And so here it is. Okay, so I'm going to just trim and there you have it. Just this little mark of hand. This is also just a demonstration of how I feel about handicraft and just working with your hands and creating something that you can actually see and touch. And handicraft is such an important part of my life. And I think that that's one thing that we don't get enough of. We're so glued to our digital devices and we're, you know, everything is, is sort of ethereal. And I think that even a woodworker with a hammer or a chisel or a potter with their wheel and clay or a seamstress with their thread and needles or sewing machine or a chef with their favorite knife, those those tools that we use, that we put in our hands to make something, there's something so important and soulful about that, that I find that in this modern day and age, we have moved away from creating things. And I think it's so important to instill this into our young generation to encourage working with the hands, making things, creating things, so good for the soul. On that note, this is what I just did with my favorite sweater. It's gonna make me wear the sweater with a lot more happiness because I'm not looking at my sweater thinking, oh, you know, there's a hole and it looks tattered and torn, but actually it's celebrating this piece. I actually, I brought this to show you because I, I found a hole on one of my favorite hats, this cashmere hat from my friend Meg Cohen who makes these hats and check her out by the way. And um, there was a hole in here that a moth had started to eat away. And this is a chance to use the favorite ribbon that you see or a favorite piece of fabric. And what do you do with this? It's so beautiful, but I don't want to throw it away. Well, what do you do with all this stuff? I took this ribbon, I just cut a really little piece. I stitched it in the same manner that I did my sweater with the gold thread. And now I actually love this even more. It's so darn cute. What do you think, right? Now it has this little mark and it's got my hand on it and it just makes me happy. All right, that's it for now. Thank you so much for coming. Make sure to like this video. If you do, um, subscribe, tell your friends and happy stitching and happy living life, celebrating your imperfections. Bye.